Samoma bodies are found in. Okay. So, Samoma bodies are a type of uh, calcification wherein what you will see is when you actually take a slide and you observe it under a microscope of a tissue, they are these typical concentric rings. Eosinophilic concentric rings, sorry. So, they will be blue in color. And they are typically like typically they are concentric rings of calcification that have occurred because there is a particular part of the tissue that has undergone some form of degeneration and because the degeneration has occurred now calcium from the blood has gone and de been deposited over there so it appears very typically concentric and they are it, it just keeps on going and growing in size to a point where after the it reaches the extent of the tissue which is dead it this calcification stops over there so when you observe it in the microscope this is how a cal uh, samoma body looks where either it is concentric in this format <coughs> it is concentric in this format or it is concentric in this format okay so what you are seeing over here is very typically the Samoma bodies which are there. These Samoma bodies are characteristic features of pap papillary carcinoma of the thyroid. Okay, papillary carcinoma of the thyroid where you have the follicles of the thyroid gland that get uh, <coughs> degenerated and because these follicles end up getting degenerated they form these concentric calcified bodies and these cal concentric calcified bodies are what are called as samoma bodies they are because the cells of the papillary carcinoma they end up going necrotic changes and because they undergo end up, end up becoming necros there it is a form of dystrophic calcification which is the answer to the question metastatic calcification is a form of calcification where you have calcium deposition in abnormal deposition of calcium in normal to tissues for example when you have hyperparathyroidism or you have say excessive consumption of calcium or vitamin d or uh, vitamin d toxicity the calcium goes and sits in the blood vessels or it goes and sits in the bones for example even your uh, myos your you know your uh, myositis ossificans is a form of metastatic calcification so this all this leads to that is an abnormal deposition of calcium whereas dystrophic calcium uh, calcification is calcific normal calcium that is getting deposited in dead tissues so the this samova bodies is not only low you know restricted to papillary carcinoma of the thyroid but it is also seen in with the pituitary gland where you have prolactinoma then you have the melanotic squamoma and meningioma you have glucagonoma so if you can notice from this image over here it is mainly seen in carcinomas or in sarcomas so basically it is a manifestation of some neoplastic change however the cells of the neoplasm they are the neoplastic cells are dividing and they are making the normal cells devoid of their nutrition because the normal cells are not getting their nutrition they undergo either apoptosis or necrosis and they die as a result of their death those cells end up getting calcified and that is why it is a form of dystrophic calcification per se the metastatic cells or the neoplastic cells are not getting uh, necrosed it is the normal cells which are getting this uh, necrosed and those cells are getting calcified and that is why it is a form of dystrophic calcification